Welcome back to Rise and Grind. We now have a very special edition of the 901 going into Thanksgiving. We were lucky enough to catch up with the one and only Zach Randolph, who for a 10th straight year went out of his way to make sure that he fed people of Memphis. Take a listen. And now we have former Memphis Grizzlies, Memphis great, former NBA player. Give him his roses. He got his roses this year. Zach Randolph joining us. And Zach, I'm really excited about you joining the show just because of what you're doing in the city of Memphis. For the 10th year in a row, you are going to be donating 500 dinner, Thanksgiving dinners to 500 families. I've been told that you had lines up, up started at 7 a.m., cars were lined up. Uh, what is this? Why is this so important for you to continue to give back to Memphis and continue to do your Thanksgiving meals? I think it's, it's important for me just to continue doing what I'm doing and also, you know, to give back during these times, like I said, you know, the other day during these times is, is they really need and people are really in need of help and um you know um with this pandemic going on there's you know not a lot of work out there for people so i think this is really one of the most important thanksgivings you know that out of all of them you know since i've been doing it like i said it's my 10th year so i think this is kind of you know they are all special and they mean something because i look at it like a blessing you know when you do good for good and good come back to you. So I just look at it like that. Um, you know, that's how I get my blessings. So, you know, I'm going to continue to give back, you know, not only, you know, Memphis, you know, wherever I can, you know, back home in Indiana, you know, and uh, other places that I be at too. So uh, it's just part of me and that's what I do. What is it about this city in particular that has made you continue to want to feed into it year in and year out? I still have a, I have a lot of family in Memphis. I have cousins in Memphis. You know, I got my uh, record label. Shout out to my, you know, the record label, Endless MT, my partner, you know, Marcus Howe. And, you know, we just doing stuff in the city. And I got businesses there. I still got a house there. So I'm very much indulged in Memphis. Like I said, Memphis is home for me. You know what I mean? I'm always going to be there and always be a part of that. And, you know, in a year like 2020, I know a lot of things are being off the calendars due to social distancing and also the pandemic, but you're still able to put on this event, this amazing event, due to, due to the help of so many different partnerships with street ministries. You, you use Kroger and also several people volunteering. Why was it really important to make sure that this still happened in the year that is? Because this has been a year where we've seen so many people are struggling right now. It's important. Like you said, shout out to Streets Ministries and Kroger and, you know, everybody was part of this. And, uh, you know, it's important. And I mean, people, not only just me, if anything, anybody out there can do something to help give back, do it. You know, just do it. It ain't about no media. I, if I wouldn't have did no interview with y'all, it still would have went on. And, you know, I still feel the same way because it's not about, you know, media attention come from the heart. So people out there give back, you know, I mean, give you time. You know, I know it's, you know, bad times, but, you know, this is what it's all about. This has been a time where we're all just being appreciative. It's Thanksgiving is, is what we're talking about being thankful for. What are you thankful for in the year 2020? Man, I'm just thankful, thankful for everything. Thankful for my kids, you know, thankful for the opportunity I had, just, you know, where I come from and to where I'm at, you know, all my relationships, my friends. You know, I had some, I done took some losses. You know, I lost my mother a couple of years ago um, on this day, you know what I mean? And um, so, you know, I, I lost my brother a couple of years later. So I've been, going through, you know, a lot and, you know, here and there, but I keep my head up, you know, I got God, God above and, you know, and uh, give him the glory and uh, just keep moving. Jack, how will you be spending Thanksgiving this year? i am be spending it with my family, with my sisters. That's the best way to spend it is with family. That's what the important part about this. Um, Zebo as a new NBA season coming up. As we get ready, we're still trying to learning everything, figuring out how it's all going to work out. We got to see you last season. Yeah. <laughs> you know, come, come sit courtside. Can we put on our calendars definitely. and scheduling that we can expect That's to That's right. You'll see me. You'll see me. I'll definitely be there. You know, I know, you know, we all going. I'm trying to definitely be there. When you look at this, just what makes you excited about the youth that they continue to invest in, and they got another in state big guy that continue right. that trend with Xavier Tillman. Man, come on, young Tillman, you're a beast. You know, I mean, we got the Michigan State blood up in there, and um, with Jaron, and like you said, man, with the, the team with John, and you know, the upside is crazy. I'm be, I'm excited, and you know, I'm excited to watch him and be there. You know, be there with the guys and watch them grow. And Zach, we, we're excited about what you are continuing to do throughout the city and throughout the community, and we really appreciate it. We appreciate you taking the time to join us for Rising Grind. 
Good luck. Have so much fun this year and be safe. And we can't wait to see you in person one day soon. Happy holiday. Happy Thanksgiving to you. <laughs> Zebo is forever a real one. Always gives back to Memphis. We did want to note that those pictures that we used were from years past. Mm-hmm. So that's why there were no masks and people were around each other. Everything was done safely yesterday. Yeah. And technology problems in 2020. Yeah. We had some, we had some Wi-Fi issues, but we just really appreciate <laughs> him taking the time to talk to us.